Separation anxiety is one of the most heartbreaking and scary elements of owning a dog. If you've ever seen it or witnessed it or even your dog is struggling with it right now, you will understand that that's absolutely true. However, I am here today to help ensure that that isn't the case anymore or make sure that it never happens for your dog. Welcome back to Femre Canine Training, where I want to help you become a high-level canine leader so you can raise and train your very own perfect canine companion. Today, we're going to be answering another one of your questions, so without further ado, let's dive straight into that video. Hi. Every day when I'm at work, my dog sits by the window and barks and cries all day, and my neighbours are getting really angry. Are there any ways to get him to be quiet and sleep while I'm at work? There is absolutely many ways. Thank you so much for the question, and I can't wait to dive into helping you with this exact situation. So I want to give you three tips that will absolutely ensure that you can very quickly get over this problem, and anybody else watching at home can either help fix their problem, or by watching this video can help ensure that it never becomes a problem for them in the first place. So the first of the three tips I want to give you today is around exercise. A tired dog is a happy dog. A dog that hasn't had enough exercise will have pent up frustration, pent up energy, and that frustration and energy can quickly lead to anxiety and fear. One of the best things we can do to help our dog dispel any of those built up emotions is by giving them a lot of exercise. So before you go out to work, I challenge you to double, if not triple, the amount of exercise that you've been giving your dog recently and I guarantee you will notice at least some success if not it might solve your problem completely but don't worry if it doesn't get all the way there we've got two more solutions to help ensure we get you over that finish line the second tip is crate training crate training is fundamental in being able to help your dog settle down calm down and be a safe quiet happy canine companion whether you're in the home or whether you're out of the home by tapping into your dog's denning in instincts after you've just provided them with a lot of exercise you will be able to have a dog that will be more than happy to be quiet calm and settle down for a good snooze while you're out of the house now that doesn't mean you should simply stuff them into a crate and hope for the best you need to go through the process of positively training your dog to understand and know that that crate is a wonderful happy safe place and space for them to be and the third tip is around desensitizing the process of you leaving in the home and you coming back into the home. First of all, when you leave the home, it's imperative that you do it in as a cold fashion as possible. Far too many people make a song and dance out of leaving their dogs. They get on the floor, they start cuddling, they baby talk them, they apologize for leaving them on their own, and they get their emotional state heightened and then leave them. And then they wonder why their dogs develop separation anxiety. You need to desensitize that process of you putting your shoes on, you jingling your keys, you go into the door and making that process as nonchalant as possible. You can do that by whilst watching TV and your dog's in the living room, do the act of putting your shoes on, sit there, take them off and start that process of helping your dog understand that by putting your shoes on, by picking up your bag, by putting your jacket on, by going to the door, by picking your keys up, isn't a trigger for you leaving them and creating that negative association that might be triggering the separation anxiety in the first place. By making that a desensitized process that's as cold and clinical as possible, your dog won't associate those triggers with any kind of negative emotions. You also need to do exactly the same thing when you come back from work. Again, desensitize that process. When you walk in the door, don't drop on your hands and knees and give your dogs loads and loads of fuss and praise and jack up their emotional response. When you come back into your home, completely ignore your dog until they are in a calm and settled state of mind. When they're in that calm, settled, relaxed, quiet state of mind, then you can calmly interact with them. You can calmly give them praise and you can lead by example of being in the home is a calm, relaxed experience. Dogs thrive on calm consistency. That's why we preach the importance of you being a calm, consistent leader. And you need to practice 
what you preach when you leave the home, but also when you come back into the home. So follow those three steps of providing significantly more exercise, positively crate training your dog and desensitizing the triggers of leaving the house and coming back into the house. And you will be able to help your dog be completely happy when you leave the house as well as when you come back to it. I hope that helped. If it did, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and I can't wait to see you on the next video of Fenrir Canine Training. Thank you.